Welcome to Hattie Waiver Wire Guru. Uh, this is the playoff video. I'm going to mix it up a little bit and we're just going to look at sleepers. Okay, we're going to look at sleepers that may be on your team. We're going to look at sleepers that may be on your waiver wire. I'm going to go through quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers, giving you three of each. You'll see how this works. I'm going to run right through this. Okay, so let's start with quarterbacks. And these are players I think um, will probably be on your team and you won't find them on the waiver wire, who I think will be sleepers for this week. Uh, one of those being uh, Chad Pennington against San Francisco. I think you're going to see a big-time shootout there and expect Chad Pennington to throw a lot in this game. Uh, next is Matt Castle versus Oakland. Uh, I think you're going to see over 300 yards and a TD or two. Um, this is going to be a great game for Matt Castle. I think he's a big-time sleeper. And so is Kyle or Orton on Thursday night against New Orleans. Um, it's just going to be a, a lot of – anytime New Orleans plays, you can expect a lot of throwing from the other quarterback as well. So expect Kyle to get a lot of um, – Throws in the air. Okay, moving on to running back. Uh, next is Warwick Dunn uh, from playing, uh, I mean, excuse me, Warwick Dunn playing Atlanta. Um, he's going up against his old team. I think you're going to see a lot of ground game there. Expect Warwick to uh, rack up a lot of yards. Uh, next is Roddy White going up against Tampa Bay. Uh, Matt Ryan's favorite target guy gets a lot of looks. Going to be big time. And Dominique Rhodes against Detroit. It's going to be all ground game. After Peyton Manning blazes them, they're just going to run the clock out on the ground, so expect Dominique Rhodes to get hooked up. Uh, next sleeper is Lance Moore against Chicago. Breeze has got to throw to somebody. I think Lance Moore is back at it again this week. Also, Vincent Jackson, he lit it up last week. You can expect him to light it up again against Kansas City. And Eddie Royal against Carolina. I see a lot more um, Cutler action uh, with Hillis gone. Okay, now here's some sleepers that may be on your wa waiver wire uh, for this week, starting with quarterbacks. If Thigpen is on your a uh, waiver wire going up against San Diego. He's going to have a great game. So is Sean Hill. Again, it's going to be Pennington against Hill all game long, and you can expect Sean Hill to be a big beneficiary of that. And then last is Seneca Wallace against the Rams. Okay, next let's go into running backs. Uh, Tatum Bell could be sitting there on your waivers. He's going up against Carolina. There's really nobody else in Denver to run the ball. Um, some would say Selvin Young, but I just don't think Selvin's fully healthy, so Tatum's going to get the load. Next is Maurice Morris. Uh, against the Steelers, uh, I mean, excuse me, against the Rams. Um, expect a lot of ground game um, here from Maurice Morris. And then Kevin Falk against Oakland. I think he'll uh, catch a lot of receptions from Castle. And then uh, last in your wide receivers is Devin Bess. He's trying to go for a new record uh, for a rookie. Um, they're going up against San Francisco. Obviously, if I like Pennington, I like Bess. I think Antoine Randall L. will actually do well this week against Cincinnati's poor defense. And then finally, Justin Gage against Houston. Expect a, a big throw from uh, Collins, maybe one or two. Uh, but that's it. These are all sleepers. Uh, some who are on your team, some are on the waivers. If you need some lineup advice for the playoffs, uh, email is hattiewaiverwireguru at hattiewaiverwireguru.com. Happy to answer questions. All right, guys, let's go get another W and keep moving through the rounds. All right, we're going getting championships. Later.